So, in this video, you're gonna see me uh, do my nails and make some soup. And I think we're gonna talk about some books at the end. I'm kind of like doing this spur of the moment. Don't really know what I'm gonna say. I haven't planned anything out, but um, I'm going through Pinterest here. become recently obsessed with like doing my own nails so I've been doing them like once a weekend because that seems to be how long I can make them last but um, you'll see here in a minute that and it's honestly hilarious because I sit here and I like have this on the screen the whole entire time that I'm doing my nails and they end up looking absolutely nothing like it. Like, I have no idea why I chose this one <laughs> to display. This all happened in February, so obviously it's been a while since this video came out. I've done my nails like 20 times since then, but it's been taking me forever to be able to sit down and edit anything, and I honestly just feel like a friggin' idiot every time I do, but I don't know. I like how the video came out, and I think it's super fun, so... I just can't get over how funny it is that I'm literally sitting here with this picture on the screen like thinking my nails are gonna come out like this like it's so funny. <laughs> I was so obsessed with them. They're so pretty at the end. I went in and detailed with a little like paintbrush for these little leaves. I was super obsessed with my nails and I did them like this like I literally could not stop staring at them and whenever I was going through editing the video I had like 20 videos of me just jiggling my fingers in front of the camera because I was so obsessed. I had such a hard time doing my right hand like trying to make those leaves with that tiny brush was so hard with my left hand but somehow I still made it work. It was okay but it was so hard. like so much video time of me just doing that with my nails <laughs> oh, so obsessed but it's so pretty I love the gold I didn't realize that you can just use regular acrylic paint on your nails so I was super excited about that because I couldn't find like a really good gold polish that I liked and now we're gonna make soup <clears throat> I ordered everything from um, like Walmart delivery for the first time for this and it was actually super freaking awesome and I can't believe I haven't been doing it for longer. It was kind of funny though because like whenever I ordered everything I ordered a bunch of tomatoes. I don't remember how many I want to say I got like five. But I ordered uh, one onion and one head of garlic but then for some reason they gave me like three onions and three heads of garlic I think that's what happened like they shorted me on tomatoes but then gave me like a ridiculous amount of onions and garlic watching this back now I'm realizing I have absolutely no idea how to cut tomatoes <laughs> like I remember struggling so hard with this and like trying to figure out how to get that center part out. I wasn't even sure if I was supposed to take that center part out. Like, it was a disaster, but the end result ended up being good, so I guess that's the important part, right?
hands were making me cry so freaking bad. But I powered through. I don't cook often, so <laughs> I just prevailed, I guess. But this is fun to make. I like chopping things. It's just like, I don't know, it's fun to zone out and just chop like crazy. I was excited to do this whole like roasted pan full of tomatoes and onions because I always feel like it looks so good online. I also learned a very valuable lesson here. I like tried doing the thing where you just, I guess like chop off the top of the garlic and stick it in there and roast it. And it was so freaking hard to get the garlic out afterwards. Like, I feel like I always saw people in videos, they would just like squeeze it and like the roasted garlic would come out. And it was so ridis, wow, can't talk. So ridiculously hard to get it out of there. Like, obviously it was hot as shit. So squeezing it with my fingers is making my fingertips burn off, but somehow I got it out of there. I don't know if I used like the back of the knife or what, I don't remember, but it did not work how it does in the videos. I use such a small freaking pot for this too like I this is my biggest pot except for like this absolutely massive one that I used to make like chicken broth so I didn't include it in the video because I think I stopped recording but this completely boiled over and like half of it burned onto the freaking oven top I was so mad <laughs> like I knew it was gonna happen but I still just I still just left it there in that pot for whatever reason and everything burnt by the way like so I made the soup and then here in a second you'll see me start making the grilled cheese and I literally I don't know what the heck I was doing <laughs> like it was so weird because I couldn't even smell the freaking sandwiches burning like until I picked them up off the pan I did not smell a burning smell at all I was like trying to clean up and I, like I think I was giving the dogs cheese or something and they were literally burnt black like it was so bad and I'm sorry, by the way, but my grilled cheese is not gourmet. Craft singles are the best. There's the puppies. Koda's crazy. She dances in circles for cheese and food. And there's Poopy's a good boy. There's my burnt grilled cheese that I ended up rescuing. I used the two good sides and made a good grilled cheese. Don't worry. And this is my amazing setup. I was so freaking happy. <laughs> This is actually earlier in the morning I was reading. I like always read a physical book and then like something on my Kindle because I'm just a freaking psychopath. And then sometimes I'll even have an audiobook. But this was at the beginning of February whenever the most recent Crescent City book came out. <clears throat> the House of Flame and Shadow. And I'm so mad at myself because I hyped this up so much in my freaking head. With all of like the crazy theories that are out there. Of course I have my own insane theories but... I disappointed myself because I thought that like Aelin was gonna come back and be like BAM and save the day or at the very least like the um, Valaris peeps were gonna be like more involved I was just so disappointed like I'm so sorry if you haven't read this far yet like there's gonna be spoilers that I'm gonna talk about but <clears throat> I was just expecting so much more involvement from Reese from Feyre from Cassian, from Amran, like, I don't know, I was just so disappointed, like, I honestly got it in my head too that, like, Aelin was gonna pop up at some point, I'm just so mad at, like, all the crazy theories that I let myself believe because I was so, so disappointed with this book as a whole, like, I didn't like, um, Bryce and Hunt's reunion, like, there was literally... I just wanted to punch Bryce in the face the whole time, like, it was just so annoying. Like, Hunt has been through so much fucking shit, and she's gonna get mad at him for being scared of going against the Asteri whenever everybody he's ever loved has been killed from them before? Like, don't even get me started. But then, Bryce, like, going through those caves, and, like, the whole time it was just her and Nesta and Azrael, and, like, nothing really fucking happened, like... They faced off against the worm, and I don't know. 
whenever they were trying to get Nessa to take the mask off, whenever she killed the worm, and, like, the only thing that would get her to, like, come back was fucking Nyx. Like, I, I just, I, I was so annoyed by everything. And, like, I really liked the nod towards Aelin whenever they were talking about, um, uh, shit. I'm forgetting names. Lydia. Lydia is the name. Whenever, uh, she said that her one son's name was Brennan, I was like, oh my god! But, of course, I hyped it up too much for myself. I thought that Aelin was going to come and kick some ass. I didn't like that, like, Reese was not a bigger part of the plot. Like, towards the end, whenever she was going back to get her parents from Valaris, and Reese was just, like, this big storming cloud of darkness just, like, slowly approaching, like... He, that wouldn't happen. Like, Reese is the most powerful High Lord. Like, there is no fucking way that he would have just been slowly approaching when there was a supposed threat to his town. Like, I just, I don't know. I don't really have the right words, and I didn't really plot out what I was going to say about this, but it was just all around disappointing for me. I hate to say it. I will say I did love the relationship that blossomed between Ember and um, Nesta. Like, I thought that was so sweet. All in all, I want to say that I love SJM. I will read everything that she ever writes. I'm literally obsessed with her. Um, but I got two in my own head, overhyped everything, and disappointed myself. Um, I'm super excited for the next book that comes out. I'm super excited for the next Akatar book. I'm excited to see what um, perspective it's from. I think it's been confirmed that it's from Elaine's perspective. So that'll be exciting. I'm sorry that this was a bad book review and I didn't plan out anything that I was going to say, but I would like to get more used to this and do this more often with books because, like I said, I love reading. But um, I just finished... Um, a book by Jennifer Armentrout uh, from the Flesh and Fire series, so I'll go over that probably in the next video. Um, then I just finished two, like, uh, monster smut books, so I might talk about those too, but um, I just wanted to say thank you guys for being here. If anybody does watch this, um, I think I had three views on my first video, so, <laughs> you know, we'll see what happens, but... Um, I plan to continue to post videos, I plan to talk more about books, and hopefully the book reviews will get better from here, so bear with me. Um, and this is Juniper, I didn't mention, but she'll be with me too. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye!